Hi, I'm award-winning fat activist and professional feminist killjoy Virgie Tovar, and I'm here today to talk to you about an epidemic that's affecting women everywhere. It's called CRFI. If you're like many women, you've been to a birthday party or a small office gathering, an event that's meant to bring people together. There's swinging tunes, some adult beverages, and good convo. And then it comes time to cut the cake, and someone decides to ruin everything. <laughs> oh my god, that slice is huge. That slice is bigger than Beyonce's paycheck. Can you cut me half of half of that? A cake-related fat phobic incident, or CRFI, is that moment when it's time to eat delicious cake and it's interrupted by a moralizing impulse. Inevitably, there's always someone at the party who has to declare publicly that their slice is too large and that the person who's cutting the cake, almost invariably a woman, must do some disproportionate amount of labor in order to accommodate their need to feel superior. Let's take a look. Can you do a little bit, just like, can you like scrape all the frosting off and cut it in half and give me two forks? Cause I'm sharing. Small, like a little bit more, like tiny, no, like less, less than what you're smaller, please. Could you just cut my piece into 12 equal symmetrical little pieces and put each one into a tiny little Tupperware so that I can have a bite for each month of 2018? Thanks. Smaller. Let's take a step back and view what's happening through a critical feminist lens. CRFIs typically happen in environments where there are primarily or exclusively women. Women are disproportionately negatively affected by diet culture because diet culture maps onto sexism. Like many parts of diet culture, there is a significant performance component. You have to show others that you are being good. Controlling how much you eat is part of what it means to be a, quote, good woman. This kind of behavior is a way for people to keep other people in check through food moralizing, surveillance, and policing. These are the mechanisms that are at the core of diet culture and weight control. The idea that you can position yourself as superior to others through self-control and self-denial is super sexist. CRFIs have a history of creating a hierarchy among women and ultimately in maintaining misogynist expectations. Watch how this woman demonstrates a different way to engage with cake. Thank you. No thank you. Practice just taking the cake slice you're given or simply saying no thanks. Don't make other people be your cake nanny because women already have too much on their plate with a sexist culture navigating underwhelming romantic options and an absurdly inexplicable pay gap. So remember, the next time that you're on the verge of committing a CRFI, be an ally to women rather than an accomplice to patriarchy because after all, Patriarchy doesn't give a fuck about you, girl. It's so rich. It's so rich. It's so rich. Mmm, it's so rich. It's so rich. It's so rich. Okay, that thing that was pretty good. <laughs>